Hi everyone, I'm Melissa with Midnight Hour Oil and I just felt led to come out and share something uh, with you that I actually shared about a year ago uh, but I forgot about it and then somebody wrote a comment on it yesterday and it got me to thinking and, and I felt like the Lord gave me even more revelation than I had at the time. Okay, so what it was about was a word I received uh, about the mark of the beast and one morning I woke up uh, I think it was August of 15 and I was praying you know if the Lord could show me anything you know that he wanted me to intercede about and I heard in my spirit many will receive the mark of the beast in error or many will in error receive the mark of the beast something like that anyway at the time I was really confused about what the in error part meant I I uh, couldn't figure out you know what the Lord was saying but then yesterday as I was going over this again it was like I felt like the Holy Spirit made it very clear to me how this was going to happen how this would be possible and it relates back to something I compared to in that last video uh, about Eve when she was in the garden okay and she was talking to the serpent and it says that uh, you know she uh, the serpent told her if she took the fruit, you know, what would happen, and he told her, you will not surely die. All right, so when Eve took that fruit, um, she took it in error, okay, because she believed a lie. She believed something that she should not have believed, that she wouldn't die, and we know she, you know, she did die, all right, but it was too late. Okay, so my sense is that this, the same thing is true about the mark of the beast, okay, I believe that people are going to know this is the mark of the beast, but because they are, they're going to believe a lie. All right, they they are going to make the the mistake, the error of taking that mark, just like Eve made the mistake of taking uh, the fruit. And I had heard with my own ears, I couldn't believe it. John MacArthur, he's an apostate preacher, and he was telling a congregation of people that they could receive the mark. Because, you know, we're going to have to buy and sell, and, and God will forgive you. He knows you're going to have to eat. He knows. All right, so basically, he told people a lie, all right? And how do I know he's lying? Because I know what the Bible says, all right? And I'm going to read you Revelation, if you want to turn with me, chapter 11. I'm sorry, chapter 14, verses 9 through 11. This is what the Bible says. John MacArthur said, you can ask for forgiveness. But this is what the Word of God says. A third angel followed them and said in a loud voice, If anyone worships the beast and its image and receives its mark on their forehead or on their hand, they too will drink of the wine of God's fury, which has been pour pour poured full strength into the cup of his wrath. They will be tormented with burning sulfur in the presence of the holy angels and of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment will rise forever and ever there will be no rest day or night for those who worship the beast in its image or for anyone who receives the mark of its name okay that's what the Bible says that's the truth right and that's what I stand on I do not put my faith in the things that I hear from man or the things even necessarily that I hear in my own spirit unless they line up with the Word of God and church I'm cautioning you now do not hold any man in, or woman in such high esteem that you would believe something they say if it is in direct contradiction to the Bible, to what God's Word says. That is our standard. That is our measurement for truth. So we, we need to first of all be familiar with it ourselves. We need to know it. And then we need to measure everything. I mean, and I hope and pray you know that if you listen to my videos you take what you hear to the Lord you know don't just take it at face value if you listen to others videos do the same and and make sure it lines up with the Word of God all right and if it does not you know don't receive it because we do not want to make the error you know of believing a lie like Eve did uh, but this is what the Holy Spirit showed me that many are going to do that all right now I know you know the truth um, and I believe you will uh, stand firm I believe that you will uh, you know not be led into that deception to receiving the mark but your family members your friends your co-workers you know they may they may not know the truth you know and I encourage you to tell the people the truth 
tell them what the Bible says. Tell them what the, how the Word of God cautions, um, you know, about the, the mark of the beast and, and what the Bible says will happen if you receive it. You know, and never to elevate, uh, you know, what any man says, what any serpent hisses out of their mouths, any lie. Uh, because it, it's easy to believe and, and maybe um, makes, would make life easier. But I'm here to tell you it would be better that you had your head cut off and that you die a physical death and go on to an eternal life than that you would have a shorter, you know, some short brief time in this hell on earth and then go on to an eternal punishment. That you would be burning in hell, you know, with the beast and the false prophet and, and facing their the same judgment they face all right so um i'm going to share this with you too a friend of mine uh, a couple years ago had been given a dream and she was sharing it with me because i don't think she understood why the people were so upset and so she was explaining how they were in i, th I felt the lord gave her a glimpse of what the life would look like for people when they received that mark and they realized it especially Christians but th these people were trying to kill themselves they were trying to drown you know and the Bible talks about one of the um, one of the hallmarks is that people will seek death and they won't be able to find it it will elude them I'd have to go look that up but that's it's in there and so he, these people were trying to drown themselves but they couldn't die and I believe that's because of the mark of the beast there's something in that mark that will prevent them from dying Check out A.Z. Marzulli if you haven't read any of it. He has done uh, a lot of study on this, and, and I highly recommend A.Z. Marzulli. In fact, I'll try to put a link to the video that he talks about the Mark of the Beast. But anyway, so she, she was talking to this one man, and he was like, you know, here, I'll take this gun and shoot me. He said, um, you know, I'll, you can have my money, my life, and everything. You can have, and my friend was going, well, why don't you just, just ask Jesus to forgive you? Just... You know, and these people, they were like completely without hope because I believe they received that mark. You know, they were probably Christians. They received that mark and then and then they realized they were doomed. All right. You don't want to receive that mark. It's not it's not something you can repent of. It's not something, you know, that you can turn around and say, um, you know, Lord, forgive me. I shouldn't have done that. Once it's done, it's done. There's no turning back. Just like just like Eve, there was no turning back from that uh, that sin um, where she took that apple. I believe the mark of the beast is the same way. There will be no turning back. So please um, take this to heart. Take this message to heart and share this truth, you know, with everybody you know and love. All right. And again, it is always my prayer that we will all continue to keep our lamps burning bright while we wait for Jesus. God bless you all.